Hi, I'm Andy Parr, and you're watching The Gadget Guru. In a moment, I'm going to introduce you to this guy right here. This is Steve Gilliam. He's the president of Specialty Vehicles for Spartan Motors. We're here at the Super Show in Tampa, Florida, and when we come back, we're going to talk about where Spartan has been, where they are today, and where they're going tomorrow. And all that starts right now on The Gadget Guru. Regular viewers probably already know, but about six months ago, I traveled to Integra headquarters in Middlebury, Indiana, and I was one of the first to get behind the wheel of a new Integra cornerstone that featured Spartan's collision mitigation system. Well, it's been six months, and it's come quite a ways. And here at the show, you're doing actual test drives with right. the media. Why don't you tell, tell us about your collision mitigation system and where you're at at this point? Okay. Um, well, our collision mitigation system is part of our advanced protection system, um, which is a bundle of safety uh, features and uh, benefits that owners have when they buy a Spartan chassis. Um, the collision mitigation um, in particular as part of the advanced protection system is um, something that is similar to what customers might um, expect and might be familiar with in their um, cars. That would be in, like in adaptive automotive. cruise control. Yes, so okay. uh, it, it, it includes adaptive cruise control and it also includes the active braking system to avoid um, say, slash mitigate collisions. And what it does is it has an active radar system that basically senses the distance between you and the car in front of you and as you get too close the uh, screen will provide a yellow warning and then an audible warning and if you continue to close at a distance that is unsafe it will provide active braking to ensure there's not a uh, a collision up to 50 percent of the braking system okay so I, I do best when i compare things to the uh, to the automotive world and you know uh, adaptive cruise has been out for a number of years now, cars. Right. I'd say close to 10 years. It started off as some laser-based, and that was just a bomb. And then they went to radar, or yep. you know, or sound wave type of base. Right. And basically, if you're not familiar with it, it, it when you're in an automobile, it, it judges the the car in front of you. It establishes a relationship. Correct. How many seconds it's going to take for you to break in a panic situation, and it buffers. Correct. To keep that distance. If needed, it will hit the brakes to slow you down or slam them. But exactly. he, here's why I'm confused of how the automotive industry and the motorhome industry changes. In a car, it's called adaptive cruise control. And then you have a different feature, which is soon to be mandatory in consumer automobiles, which is the collision warning system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that differ from what you're including in select Spartan chassis? It's, it's very much the same thing. When you get the advanced protection system, you get both. Okay. So you have the adaptive cruise and there it will hold you at a distance, but um, you can override that by putting your, your foot on the accelerator to close that gap if you want. Mm -hmm. But if you were to come up on a car at an unsafe speed overriding the cruise, it would still apply the collision mitigation. So the, the two kind of work together. Or if you're in a situation where you're in, I'm gonna say more um, city traffic, and you're not using the cruise control, then it will just have the collision mitigation feature. And if you get, if you come up on the car in front of you, again, you're gonna get an active warning to alert you that sh you should be slowing down. And if you don't, then it will actively apply the brakes. You know, and so I'm the two kind of work in concert. I'm glad you brought up city driving, because you know, don't laugh, because and again, I've had multiple cars that have this system. You know, common sense is tell you, oh, this is gonna be great on the highway. Instead of just using cruise control, I can hit this. And granted, it's, it, it's not autonomous driving. It gives your feet a little bit of relaxation, sure. but you need to be prepared to jump in or intervene at any sure. time. But using it around town, you know, if you're in 20 mile an hour traffic, that stop and go, it's wonderful. Now in cars, they work differently. If you're using yours in stop and go traffic, and you know, you're on the highway and there's an accident and you're creeping on, how long will it remain engaged when you're at a full stop? If it stops you under its own power, before and still restart under its own. Are you talking about with the cruise control? Yeah, with the adaptive cruise portion of the cushion mitigation. Yeah, so um, if you don't, um, 
if you don't come to a complete stop or if the uh, collision mitigation is not uh, engaged, it will automatically resume. Okay, speed. that's if, if you speed. don't come to, if, if you if, come to then a you have stop. to hit the resume uh, okay, function. To, again, as I say, I'll compare this to the automotive world. And I'll give you an example on the new Volvo system. It might hold you for five or ten seconds. I forget what the number is. I think it's five. And then if you need to, if the car is ahead, you just touch one button and you're moving. You don't even have to touch the pedal. However, in a Tesla, and we know that there's this is what they do. They're mm -hmm. a far advanced. You're also paying a big price for that. Um, that they can hold it fairly much indefinitely on that. So it's, it, it's an interesting thing. Now, as part of this is the blind spot warning. And I believe that Cornerstone had that. Is that part of this package? It is not. So the blind spot detection system is actually an Integra coach feature. Okay. So they've integrated that into their, their coach. We're not providing that as part of the chassis. And I got to tell you, again, don't laugh at me. I've had cars with this. It is a wonderful feature. Yep. And I'll tell you what, you're looking straight ahead. And it's nice to know before you make a turn, of course, yeah. in a motorhome, you're going to use your mirrors. Absolutely. But to see that the lights that are in your field of vision ahead are are good on this. Now, we've only been talking about Integra. You're here at the show. What other coach manufacturers in which which chassis is your collision mitigation system available on? So um, it is available on the uh, Newmark King Air. Okay. And um, it's also available, uh, it's coming to be available on the um, Fort Travel Realm. Okay, but that's not till next year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming this, uh, this spring. Oh, is it coming? So, yeah. next? And yeah. I, I thought that was going to be the 2018 model that aren't going to unveil till this show next year. But if you say so, you're the one building the chassis. Yeah. I believe it's you. It's going to be a running change. Buck yeah. stops right here. Okay, so uh, we're talking for travel, uh, Newmar as... Uh, and then Integra, it's standard. It, but that's only on the cornerstone? Or Correct. they brought this into other Only models? the cornerstone right now. Yep. Okay. Now, you know, anybody who reads the forms or is involved in motorhomes at all, you know, knows there's been, the sales have been so brisk that the quality has not kept up. Even Spartan has had some issues. You had to recall your units because they were upside down or something. As a chassis builder, you are the foundation of the majority of motor coaches out uh -huh. there. And I'm, I said that I really don't know the numbers. What are you doing to build a higher quality product that requires the end user to return for service as little as possible? Well, I think it, it, there's a number of different things. I think the first thing is building a high quality product in the plant with um, good high quality components. You know, Spartan has been a market leader for some time uh, in the industry and we don't skimp on components. So um, it's one of those things where you can really realize the value of a Spartan if you've owned the, the coach three, five, eight years, and that's why our uh, resale values tend to, tend to be higher. We use thicker fr frame rails, thicker cross members. We'd use um, heavier duty components on our suspension systems. Um, uh, we, we do um, some significant things to protect our wiring so that it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't see the elements. Um, um, we do things that make it easy to maintain with color-coded wiring. Um, we just we, we do a lot with our coach that is kind of over and above so that the the durability of the coaches is, is um, uh, you know lasts the test of time I said the other thing we, we try and do is um, a very uh, extensive testing and validation when we introduce new features mm -hmm. so um, you know you know we spend a lot of time and energy um, running test coaches putting it through their paces ahead of bringing it to commerce so that um, you know, customers can be comfortable that we've um, we've done everything we need to do. That their coach is going to have a high degree of quality and is going to be reliable. Um, then I said the last thing. You know, you you know, you mentioned uh, recalls. You know, that that's going to happen from time to time. But um, uh, we're we're very proactive about stepping up if we find an issue uh, to make sure that uh, we get it fixed. We get it fixed quickly and um, uh, make sure that those customers have a good good ownership experience. And you know, whether it's, it's recalls or any kind of quality. <laughs> Whether it's your car, you have to know when to change your oil or change tires or whatever it means. Well, you know, motorhomes are different. I mean, let, yeah. let's face it, and I'm, I'm not going to actually take any sides on this. I've been to, and if you follow my blog at gadgetguru.com, you'll see all the stories I've done. Not all dealers are created equal. Not all, you know, some of them are very, very good. Some of them are, what's it going to take for you to buy today? What? 
what piece of advice can you get to new owners of motorhomes, whether it's Spartan or any other chassis, what can they do to understand their product, to give it the product the best opportunity of a long life and a reliable life? Yeah, well, you know, uh, a couple things. We, we do offer a Spartan Training Academy, which is a uh, husband and wife um, four and a half day course oh, really? where you actually can come to uh, the factory in Charlotte, Michigan and get trained for a week. There's actually a, a, a full day one-on-one -on -one with a technician where you're actually spending time and energy um, understanding the maintenance of your coach, going through it to see does it specifically need any uh, maintenance or repairs um, and, and understanding the specific functionality of your coach. So Now that's coach specific. I, I know yeah. I kind of muttered out there. I hadn't heard of it. I have heard of that. I've gone online and you and I talked about this yes. before. Let's put it, that's difficult to get into. You're booked out for more than a year on that, right? Yeah, we continue to add classes every year. So um, last year we had um, right around 20 mm -hmm. classes and this year we're going to have uh, closer to 29. 29 classes, so we continue to add classes. The, the thing that we struggle with a little bit is we like that um, personal uh, feel and, and um, experience that we have by ha keeping the classes to around seven coach owners. So we've only got a certain capacity of how many we can take. So that's why we've started to introduce um, some regional field tra training. So some of our larger dealers uh, like Motorhome Specialist, like Lazy Days, uh, like National Indoor RV are actually now starting to host um, training classes at their dealerships. The other thing is, you know, we're in Michigan. So we've got kind of a, a weather you, you window have a here. Short window to and get so now we're, we're trying to do more of these remote training classes in the south. When is that kicking in? Let's say if I walk into Motorhome Specialist tomorrow and I buy a coach and I say, hey, I want to get a Spartan training. What is a reasonable expectation that you're going to be coming to them or they can get me into your class? So we just had one. I think our next one uh, specifically at Motorhome Specialist is it's it's in the early winter here. I think it might be um, February or March, but it, it's again it's going to be posted on our website. So I don't want to misspeak, but we're we're trying to get those um, uh, remote classes set up in the winter time when when it's just not practical for us to do it in Michigan. Okay, let's and go we're through the as costs. we continue to have interest, um, we continue to add more and more of them. Okay, let's go through the cost of. Uh, if you, whether it's go to Michigan or you go to a dealer, you know, multi-day class, uh, what's the fees involved on that? So our uh, five-day training class is uh, right at about $1,500. Mm -hmm. And then our um, three-day training class is uh, 1100 And that's for husband and wife. So that's for two oh, people for and includes food. And this, you bring your own coach. You're, you're not. You bring your own coach. Okay. Um, and but, so, you know, if, if for I'm example, that, in Michigan, we we have uh, plug-ins and parking spots and everything, so folks can stay right there on on the grounds uh, while they do the training. And I'm understanding this is more than just classrooms. You were actually the instruction is, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, that if you have a K3 or K3 GT class, you try to make that entire class specific to that chassis. Am I getting that right? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll, there's a lot of things that are probably, or that are common among some of our chassis models, mm -hmm. you know, so whether it be the air system or, or the wiring or how to check your air pressure. So we go through some of those, but then we will get specific. And like I said, you have um, a day that's kind of dedicated with you and a technician just on your coach. See, and um, I, I, and then, I really think that's And good. then another part that way, of if you're afraid to ask a question in front of a lot of people because you might think it's dumb, you can ask it in the privacy of your that's, instruction. That's exactly yeah. right. Um, and then the other component of it is we do have a, a driving class. So you will uh, take, um, you will go on a road course with a professional instructor and actually do um, a, a driving test and get driving tips. Now, uh, I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, but if you ask for it, isn't there a method where you can get Spartan to come to your home and to offer? Are y'all implementing a program? That's like that? something that we're looking at. Okay. Um, we See, my sources are pretty good. Here. <laughs> we haven't rolled that out yet, but we're we're continuing to look at ways to expand our owner training because it's it's clear that it's something that is a high demand. Uh, customers want it, and um, you know, again, 
uh, with our current model at our uh, headquarters in Charlotte, we just only have so much capacity. Okay. So we're continuing to look at ways to expand that and, and, and um, also be flexible with people's time. You know, not everybody can make it up to Charlotte, Michigan. So okay. I tell you what, we've been going on a long time. We're going to take a break in just a moment, but don't go away because when we come back, there's one more thing that I think that you're going to want to talk about. And that's, tell me if I'm using the right phrase, the steerable tag at, uh, Axle. Is that okay. the right term? Yeah. Steerable? Yeah. Stay tuned. Brief break. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Steerable tag axles. Now, I'm going to tell you what I know, and this is going to fail a thimble. I've driven mules that have active steering that when I turn the, 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 wheel, the, uh, the steering wheel, yeah. my rear tire will turn in conjunction up to 21 degrees. That's not what we're going to find in in Spartan or other brands of motorhomes, is that correct? You're doing a steerable a a axle. Can you explain the difference? Well, um, now remember, no, it's a two million dollar coach. It's so, a yeah. it's a passive steer axle, which which basically means when you have a tag axle coach with your typical fixed tag, it kind of works against you, if you will. So it wants to stay straight when you're turning in tight spaces. Mm -hmm. it, it limits your your turning radius. So. Um, we have a steerable tag which effectively will go in the direction that it needs to and it, it, cr it creates um, a much tighter steering angle in tight spaces. Now so, it gives you seven degrees on the rear axle combined on the, your, let's say on a coach it would have a K3 chassis. Yeah. What does that bring the turning radius down to? On average, it's not all chassis. Yeah, I mean it's, it's going to cut probably uh, 10 to 15 feet off a 180 degree turn um, and and to be so honest on right turns this is especially helpful would you think well right or left turns in, in, a, in a parking spot I mean we we're you know we're here um, um, at the Tampa RV show and you it's pretty amazing some of the the turns that you're, you're watching our coaches make here um, they're pretty nimble in in a parking parking lot now when this first came out I believe you've had this for I guess this, you're in your second generation on this now? Yeah, this would, this this coming model year is going to be the third model year. Okay. Yeah. Now, again, I'm going to say correct me if I'm wrong because we didn't talk about any of this in advance. When it first came out, I looked at it, and you're not the only chassis manufacturer as it, and they're not all created equally. Maybe you can tell us the difference. That when they first came out, if you were taking a right turn and your rear wheels were, it's kind of a follow me steering, it's passive. Yeah, right. And it was turned to the left. But if you're in a parking lot, then you had to back up. Well, you had to first go forward before you could go backwards to straight. Did I read correctly that this has recently changed on your coach, on your new chassis? That we yeah, now you might be getting us confused with our competitors. Oh, okay, but, sorry about but that. But our system, um, you do not have to pull forward. We have, we have a locking mechanism, so when the vehicle gets above um, uh, 45 miles an hour, the the passive steer actually locks, okay. and that provides a, just a little bit more stability on highway speeds. You know, you're not needing to make those tight turns, so mm -hmm. we lock it in place. Well, we've got a very strong mo locking mechanism with enough force. As soon as you put that vehicle in reverse, you're you're. It, uh, is it going to bring the wheels gonna, back it's gonna in It's going to straighten line. the wheels right up. You don't have to pull so forward at all. So if I was sitting outside of it, and you're going forward, and you had to a <laughs> uh, uh, lock right turn. My rear wheels were on the left. We stop. I put it into reverse. It's going to straighten up before we move? Correct. That's really good. Yeah. Or you're in a parking spot, you know, that you had to steer into, so you have a little bit of an angle. As soon as you put that thing in reverse, those um, those tires are going to pull straight. Okay. What's the warranty on Spartan chassis? A, a new Spartan chassis? Three year 36. Okay. And that means uh, you have an app. You were showing it to me before. If you have a problem, you go to the app, you make a phone call, what is a reasonable expectation, that how long is it going to take somebody to get you in for service? Um, well, you service, we service through uh, Spartan dealers. It, it's somewhat dependent upon the backlog of, of that dealer. Mm -hmm. So um, I was talking to you earlier, we launched a new app, um, it's been about a year ago now, and it's got a dealer locator and finder on there that includes a key to tell you what level of service yeah, each of the, the authorized service centers uh, provide. Um, very easy to use. We also have the same thing on our website. But you know, you're best off to, to call one of those. We've got um, uh, roughly 270 authorized service centers across the United States and they're all um, 
that's 270 that are focused on motorhome. So, and, and for um, the most part, and again, we discussed this earlier, because you know, I, it's funny when you get your information from various sources. I prefer to get them from the pros. That outside of the engine, that if if it's attached to the chassis, and let's use the airbags as an example. If it's an HWH airbag, if you have a problem, that most Spartan service centers can take care of it. It doesn't have to go back to HWH. No, no. Okay. Everything that is provided on the chassis, which is basically the, um, you know, the, the engine, the transmission, the air system, the suspension, the electrical, the gauges, all of that uh, is serviced by our Spartan dealer. So you okay. don't have to, you don't have to bring the bring it back to any components component uh, manufacturers for service. Okay. Everything. Now I know there's probably only a couple hours left today of this the industry to the, the industry day. by the way the industry day is great because it's not crowded it is for media and yep. people involved in the industry to walk around and it's really a great way to be able to sit down because you're going to be dealing with customers over the next few days anyway i want to thank you oh so, you're welcome so much for your time hey if you have any questions about spartan where do you go uh spartanmotors.com and don't forget questions comments and opinions the easiest thing you can do, go to Facebook.com and just like us. We're also at Twitter, at Real Gadget Guru. And don't forget, every time I do a video, I also do a companion story. And you can find that exclusively at GadgetGuru.com. That's it for now. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr.